on the night of 4th may 2021 sagar dhankar a very popular wrestler in india was beaten to death outside the chhatrasal stadium which houses the training center run by sushil kumar's father in law satpal singh as per reports citing the fir it has come to light that sagar and his friends were staying in a house reportedly owned by sushil near the stadium they were asked to vacate and that led to friction between the two groups sagar who was 23 years old and his friends sonu mahal and amit kumar were allegedly beaten by around 20 men they attacked the three men with hockey sticks and baseball bats sagar succumbed to his injuries while sonu and amit are hospitalized at the moment Delhi police have arrested wrestler Prince Dalal for his alleged involvement and attempts are underway to trace Sushil Kumar. Following the questioning of Dalal, the police have found out that Sushil wanted to teach them a lesson for bad-mouthing him in public and disrespecting him. It's ironic that this incident took place in order to defend Sushil's honor, which is now at stake. Sushil Kumar right now is absconding and the Delhi police have cast a net across state borders to trace the double Olympic medalist in connection with the murder. This narrative sounds straight out of a crime thriller, isn't it? Let's have a look at Sushil Kumar's past. Sushil Kumar has won two Olympic medals for India, a silver medal at the 2012 London Olympics and a bronze medal at 2008 Beijing Olympics which made him the only Indian to win two individual Olympic medals. He even carried the Indian flag at the opening ceremony of the 2012 London Olympics. His 2008 Olympic medal was second for India in wrestling and the first since 1952. In July 2009, he even received Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna, which is India's highest honour for sports persons. He has won many medals for India, including the gold medal in the 74kg division at the 2014 Commonwealth Games. For the past several years, Sushil Kumar has had fights with gangsters like Sundar Bhati, Kala Jathedi and Lawrence Vishnoi. As a result, Sushil had beaten up wrestler Praveen Rana several years ago at the Indira Gandhi International Stadium. In this case, a lawsuit was filed against Sushil and his fellow wrestlers. In this current case, a case has been registered against him, but we can't prove that he's guilty unless he's found guilty in court. Police say that raids are being conducted in search of Sushil and the others accused. Meanwhile, Sushil's mobile location has been found in Uttarakhand. Questions are being raised on the functioning of the Delhi police in the case of Sagar's murder. It has been told in the FIR that when the police reached the spot, no eyewitnesses were found there. The injured Sagar, Amit and Sonu were reported to be in the hospital. The question arises that when the three injured were admitted to the hospital, why did the police not go to the hospital and take the statement of the three and file a case on that basis? It would take just 20 minutes for the police to reach the Sushruta Trauma Care Center located on the civil line from the Chhatrasal Stadium, but the police did not do so. The police could have recorded the statement of the injured, but the lawsuit was filed seven hours later. If Sagar's statement was recorded before his death, it would have been a strong evidence against the accused. But of course, the case is under investigation and Sushil's involvement needs to be proven in court of law. He remains innocent until proven otherwise. But the events leading to Sagar's death and Sushil's subsequent disappearance puts a real spotlight on why Sushil would have disappeared right after this. At the peak of his career, Sushil once single-handedly lifted Indian wrestling to unprecedented heights. But now, in relation to this murder case, the sports image has taken as much a beating as that of Sushil's himself.